All the horses have now reached the starting point and they're loading into the gates for today's third race. First one in, number four, Ray of the Night. Number two, up your bet is in. Number five, five bar Fandango. Number three, Stripper Dust. Number one, Gatlinburg. Currently the seven to five choice on the board. Number six is She Sizzling. And the last one to load will be number eight, Jessa Deal, in the second and final Alex Peacock Memorial Derby trial for three rows. They're at the post. And they're off. Coming out together, we're both Gatlinburg and up your bet. Third in the center is Stripper Dust. Fourth now, Ray of the Night. And from the extreme outside, Jessa Deal. Towards the center of the track is Stripper Dust. On the extreme outside, Jessa Deal. And now between horses, Five Bar Fandango with C Sizzling. But Jessa Deal on the extreme outside wins it. She Sizzling was second. And it looks like Stripper Dust on the inside hung on for third. Unofficial 863. The unofficial winner of the third race was number eight, Jess Adil. Second, number six, She Sizzling. And third, number three, Stripper Dust. We've got a photo for fourth between number five, Five Bar Fandango, and number four, Ray of the Night. And in the fourth place photo, it was number five, Five Bar Dango, finishing fourth over number four, Ray of the Night, finishing fifth.
The results of the third race are now official. The winner was number eight, Jess Adil. Three-year-old Sorrow Philly by Deal a Game out of Jess Marcy by Mr. Jess Perry. Fold in Texas by Pete Scaramato. Jess Adil is owned by the partnership of Peacock Cattle Company and Marie Broadstock, trained by Bob Broadstock, and ridden to victory by jockey Ismail Mosquera. Jess Adil winning the distance with a time of 20.14 seconds, carrying a speed index of 93. Second number six, She's Sizzling. Third number three, Stripper Dust. And fourth number five, Five Bar Fandango. Here now are your total results of the third race from top to bottom in your programs. Number one, Gatlinburg finished seventh with a time of 20.77 seconds. Number two, Up Your Bet was sixth with a time of 20.74 seconds. Number three, Stripper Dust finished third with a time of 20.38 seconds. Number four, Ray of the Night was fifth with a time of 20.40 seconds. Number five, Five Bar Fandango finished fourth, also with a time of 20.40 seconds. Number six, She's Sizzling was second, with a time of 20.22 seconds. Number seven, Shake It Twice was a Stewart Scratch. And number eight, Just a Deal, the race winner, with a time of 20.14 seconds. Rechecking from top to bottom, order of finish in your program should read 763-542, Stu Scratch 1. Those are the total results of the third race. In this upcoming fourth race, just the following overweights, both number one, Zoom and Special Angel, and number four, Ms. Mexican Mouse, will carry one pound over. Number two, Perry Funny Steven, two pounds over. And number three, Bending Over, three pounds over. And we've had another a little bit of a long shot winner in the second Peak of Derby trial. Jess Adil winning for the first time this season for Marie Broadstock and the Peak of Cattle Company. Congratulations, gang. Bob Broadstock training this uh, big, chunky chestnut filly. And riding her for the first time is this young man here, Ismail Mosquera, who uh, is back riding at Ajax Downs. He does double duty at this time of year because he rides thoroughbreds and he's uh, working in the mornings there. And now he's doing um, Ajax Downs again. And you've got a filly in the final for the Peacock Derby, Ismail. What did you know about Jess Adil? Did you know anything about her before this race? Well, I had the opportunity to talk to Broad on Wednesday. I came to get on some horses Wednesday morning, and uh, he was telling me about uh, this horse and if I was interested to ride it. So I say yes, I'd love to get at least a nominee for the Derby. You know, it's a big race, and thank God like, she showed up, and we are in the final now, so looking forward. And you beat a very good horse by the name of She's Sizzling, who uh, has already won a stakes race this year. You you sort of mentioned that you thought maybe the outside post helped her. Outside posts seem to help horses a lot because, what, there's no horse on their outside? Well, uh, mostly because from the feedback I got from uh, Broad and uh, Ramiro helped me out a little bit. He knows this filly very good. Uh, most of it, I thought he would benefit from the position because she's a bit slow living there, so she wouldn't find herself in any, any situation that she couldn't make the ground. So that helped her a lot and show the performance. Well, that makes a lot of sense, and thank you. Us handicappers are going to use that. We're going to use that for our next uh, picking because so far I haven't picked a winner today. So maybe you should take my job too. No, you're not taking <laughs> my job. Congratulations, Ismail. Congratulations to everybody with Jess Adil. And that's going to set up a great Peacock Derby final on Monday, September 23rd. We're up next with the fourth race.